Claudio? Yes. Um, I would like uh, to use this couple of minutes to give some uh, thoughts about uh, technology in training, uh, which is my area uh, of expertise. Um, first of all, uh, I'd like to uh, distinguish, make a distinguish, uh, dis to distinguish uh, uh, between two areas of technology use in interpreting, which is the first one, we've heard many talks about it, uh, technology uh, used uh, to uh, support uh, training. Uh, and I don't have very much uh, to add to the talks uh, we have heard. We know it's there, uh, everyone is using it, uh, speech uh, banks, uh, uh, video conferencing to allow uh, exper ex experts to access uh, classrooms uh, uh, in other places and so on. Uh, blended re re uh, learning and so on. Uh, and it's a quite nice technology to uh, disseminate uh, knowledge. Uh, the other area is uh, teaching uh, language-related technologies uh, for interpreters. Uh, um, there are two technologies, remote interpreting and computer-assisted interpreting. We've heard that both uh, before. Uh, in this area, uh, we are doing a lot of progress. Uh, we've done a small uh, colleague of mine, uh, Bianca Prandi, has done a small uh, survey, uh, and we have uh, seen that many, two-thirds of universities' uh, uh, programs are uh, giving lessons uh, to skills, uh, teaching skills to uh, use remote interpreting and uh, K-tools. But uh, this is technology which is uh, for tomorrow, for the uh, students, uh, the interpreters of tomorrow. I think that uh, training, especially at the university level, should also train uh, the interpreters of the day after tomorrow. And in that area, uh, we are not uh, doing very much, uh, I think, uh, because is a, there is a third technology that I believe will uh, influence our uh, job, not directly like uh, remote interpreting, a K-tool, there are technologies uh, going inside our process of interpreting, but there is another technology which is machine interpreting, or if you want, artificial intelligence uh, as a broad concept, that will uh, influence uh, our uh, job, it will influence the per uh, perception of people, of clients, uh, uh, what is our job, and it will have an impact on the way we will work because it will be part, it will be a sort of uh, uh, concurrent uh, in the, the years to come. So I think that we should a bit uh, rethink our curricula, at least at the university level, introducing uh, such uh, buzzwords, which are buzzwords for us, uh, deep learning, uh, neural networks, artificial intelligence, and so on, so that we interpreters start to have knowledge, uh, informed knowledge about these uh, topics, so that we can explain, we can work on these uh, subjects that will come in the next years and influence Mm, the public, the general public, not in the way we are doing it now, we are just saying our interpreting is so complex, machine will never do it. I don't believe this, I believe we will have machines that will do some sort of interpreting, probably in a bad uh, quality, uh, but we talked yesterday about quality, which is quite a uh, debatable uh, uh, subject, and we should start to inform now our students, ourselves, the trainers, about this technology for the future. It's not tomorrow, it's after tomorrow, but after tomorrow, as you know, will come. <laughs>